Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a skincare review, sort of. I don't really know what to call this video, but basically I'm going to be going through every product from a Glow Recipe. This is my favorite skincare brand I've discovered in the last couple of months. If you haven't seen my last skincare video, I have very um, acne prone and oily but dehydrated skin. It sometimes can be dry. My skin just sort of like all over the show and I find it really hard to find products to like balance it out. And yeah, I've just struggled with hormonal acne, like I don't know if you call it acne, but like breakouts for a very long time now. It's been like at least over a year since introducing more of Glow Recipe products. My skin has definitely improved majorly. So I thought it would be really good to go through every product from their brand. The only product that I will not be talking about is the new um, watermelon toner because I have not been able to get my hands on that one yet, unfortunately, because it looks amazing. And also the only other product I have not tried is the watermelon mist. The mist is something that you just use in between steps of your skincare routine. It's sort of like an enhancer, I guess. So that's the only other product that I haven't tried. But yeah, let's get into it. So the first product that I want to talk about is their cleanser. Now, uh, this cleanser is a simple hydrating cleanser that does not strip your skin at all, make you feel dry at all, anything like that. It's a real gentle gel. Let's say it's makeup erasing as well. Personally, I like to always use an oil cleanser to get my makeup off before any other cleanser. I usually use this one in the mornings if I'm going to be cleansing in the mornings or I use this one a few times a week. Um, I do also use a Dermalogica clear skin cleanser just for a little bit of extra like because it's got a bit of salicylic acid in it to clean out my pores because of like my pimples and things like that. But this cleanser is super nice and gentle and whenever my skin needs a little bit of a break this is perfect it does foam up like a tiny little bit but not too much which is good because if it's too foamy then usually it's more of a stripping sort of cleanser so very very hydrating and what i like about glow recipe as well is they're very simple ingredients and i think that's why my skin likes it because if i use too many complicated ingredients my skin just freaks out. This is an absolutely amazing cleanser and even if you have dry skin I feel like this would work for you. By the way I didn't put a disclaimer in before but I'll do it now. I sort of forget to like do these logistic things but by no means am I a skin doctor or a dermatologist obviously. These are all just my personal opinions. I do sell skincare in my job. I do research into these brands so I do know a little bit about them but no I'm not a dermatologist so just don't take what I'm saying as like a Bible. Everyone's skin's different, everything like that. But yeah, this is just my personal opinion. Next is one of my absolute favorites. Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. This, I would have to say out of all the products, has been the one to save my skin most in terms of like breakouts. I use this a few times a week, every single night, all over, and I wear it all night long. It's not very often that I wear this, it's just like a 10 minute or 20 minute mask and wash it off. I usually do wear it all night, but you of course have the option to just wear it as a face mask and wash it off. It's really good for oily, dehydrated skin because it does have some light BHAs in it, which exfoliate the surface of your skin, but it's not too harsh that it's going to dry you out a lot. And of course the watermelon and everything else in it and the hyaluronic acid just makes your skin look super, super glowy and fresh. I find it just helps out with breakouts a lot. I don't know what ingredient necessarily does that, but if you do struggle from breakouts at all, like I recommend trying it because I find like the salicylic acid sort of face mask. Even charcoal face masks, they tend to break me out even more. Like they make my skin more reactive. So something like this, I think it's a bit more gentle. My skin really, really likes it. It's just this very thin gel-like consistency, which spreads super easily. I have had this, I'm pretty sure for at least like eight months and look how much I still have left, like quite a decent amount. And I, you know, I just said how often I use it. So it's pretty great how long this product lasts. 
Their other face mask that I don't have with me, but I'll pop it up on the screen, is the Avocado Sleeping Mask. This one is perfect for the drier skin girls out there. So if you have really dry or sensitive or inflamed or red skin, this one is going to be absolutely amazing for you. It's so creamy and really, really nourishing. I have used it a couple of times and it definitely didn't like make me break out either. My skin really liked it as well, but I just chose to purchase the watermelon mask because it's more catered towards my skin type. But if you are more dry, that is a fantastic option for you. Next thing I want to talk about is a bit of a newbie for me because I've only been using this for the past like week or so, but I had to include it. I know I haven't used it for too long, so I can't really tell you like long term what it's done, but I can tell you in the last week, I have seen some major, major differences with my skin. If you saw my last skincare routine, I was saying how I really wanted to find a vitamin C or brightening serum that works for me because basically all of them that I have tried have broken me out. I think my skin just doesn't necessarily like vitamin C, but because I love this range, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try the Pineapple C Bright Serum and I'm so glad I did because if anything, it has helped with my breakouts so much, like so much. I, you'll see in the little clips where I'm trying things on, usually I have like quite a few like big pimples, sore pimples like on my face, but at the moment I do not and I think it really comes down to using these products. I have found this has helped a lot with brightening my skin, which is meant to do, and also helping me with acne scarring too. It does have a funky smell, I'm not gonna lie, it's got a weird smell, but I feel like vitamin C's in general usually have weird smells. I can definitely handle it, but yeah, it is a bit of a funky smell. And it's like a light, watery, jelly sort of consistency. It's a bit unusual. Yeah, that my skin has absolutely been loving this. And then another holy grail of mine, I have been using this for at least probably eight months. And I've just repurchased another bottle of it because I ran out of my last one, but it lasted me so long. I really like how it's a little pot because you can actually see how much you get. So many times I've bought like pumpy eye creams. They just run out so quick. And then when I open it up, the product was like still in the little like container, but it's just not pushing up through the little squirty thing. So that's super, super annoying when you spend a lot of money on an eye cream, but this one, you can see how much you have. You can get your finger in there and get it all out and it's great. So again, this is a eye sleeping mask. So I use this obviously under my eyes and I leave it on all night, but I also do use it in the day. They do say that you can use it in the day as well, even though it does have the encapsulated retinol in it, you can still use it in the day. Just put your sunscreen on. I am pretty stuck with that step, to be honest, but make sure you do it. But yeah, it's just this thick, creamy, like, consistency. Automatically, when I put it on under my eyes, I just feel so much more fresh. It really helps with de-puffing under the eye area. It helps with any darkness. It also helps with fine lines because of the retinol in it. If you don't know what retinol is, retinol is an ingredient which sort of renews your skin so it gets rid of old skin cells and brings forward the new ones. Perfect ingredient for any fine lines, wrinkles or anything like that. So yeah, I've been loving this. I have definitely noticed a difference in my eye area and now I can not live without it so it's a must have i love this stuff so much also a newer addition to my skincare is the banana souffle moisture cream now i was hesitant to try this one because i thought this would definitely be better for drier skin because it is more of a heavier sort of moisturizer but again glow recipe just it just keeps on surprising me, like honestly, like my skin just loves it. My skin loves it. And I really hope if you're watching this and you have similar skin type to me and you are looking for a brand that works for you, I really, really hope it works for you too. Because for me, it's just been a dream come true. <laughs> so dramatic. <laughs> but I just, I love it because like I have tried for so long to find a skincare brand that works for me. And I've mixed so many different skincare brands together and just absolutely nothing works. And now I found something that works and it's pretty exciting. So the Banana Souffle Moisturizer is obviously packed full of bananas and it's really, really nourishing. It's this amazing like bright yellow color, which is so cute. I've only used like a tiny bit, as you can see. I've used it for like the past week again, but I've just been really sparingly with how much I use. And I alternate between using this at nighttime or the watermelon mask as well. So I've been using it absolutely every night. 
but the nights that I have been using it, let me tell you, my skin is so, so beautiful and fresh in the morning. It's really lightweight. I thought it would be heavier than what it is, but it really is lightweight. And I thought going into winter as well here in Australia that it will be nice for my skin because when it goes in, when it goes, <laughs> When we go into winter, my skin does tend to get a bit more dry and flaky and things, so I thought this would be amazing and I'm absolutely loving it already and I feel like these two new things to my skincare routine have really, really been making a difference and helping my skin. Another product that I don't have with me but I used for a really long time, I probably used the Watermelon Juice Moisturizer for about two months. Um, not so long ago and I love that moisturizer as well. I'm going to be repurchasing it when I run out of my Dermalogica Clear Start Hydrating Lotion. This is the moisturizer that I use in the morning because it's a bit lighter than the banana souffle so it's better through the day so I don't get too oily or anything like that. But definitely once I fully run out of this one I'm going to be repurchasing the watermelon juice moisturizer just because I just want to stick purely with Glow Recipe to not have any other skincare products in the way like disturbing you know, the benefits of this skincare range. So super hydrating, super lightweight, again, perfect for more oily skin people, or if you are more dry, definitely just pop on an oil or like the banana souffle over the top and you can use it. You can use it as like a hydrating lotion because it does have a lot of hyaluronic acid in it. Again, that's what I love about this range too. It's got a lot of hyaluronic acid in it and my skin likes that a lot. Yeah, it's another product that I don't have with me, unfortunately, but it's fantastic. And if you have more oily skin, I'd recommend picking that one up. Last but not least is my... This is my favorite product. I don't know. Nah, it's not my favorite, but it's one of those things that it just, just brings everything together. And that is the, what's called the Glow Recipe Lip Pop. But it smells like watermelon and it's like a mixture exfoliator, lip balm, and lip tint. So it's pretty amazing. I know it's pricey for a lip balm. I did not want to purchase it for that reason, but when I did, I purchased it. I ran out of this one and I got another one because it's that good. Now I can't live without it, so that's fantastic. But yeah, it just makes your lips so smooth and so soft. I love how it brings that little bit of tinge of pink. Like that's all that I have on my lips now and I tend to do that a lot. I just wear that on my lips strictly and the tint does last a while as well. So you don't feel like you need to keep reapplying it, which is amazing. But yeah, so basically I love absolutely everything. It's just, it has worked in amazingly for me. And I know the brand can look like a little bit gimmicky and not cheap looking because it's still all like glass and nice packaging but it can look a little bit gimmicky and a little bit young but the ingredients and, and the formulas of everything is amazing and feels very very high-end and luxurious even though it's not really really high range price point i'd say it's like in between if you are struggling with your skin at all and you're trying really hard to find a skincare range that works for you i do suggest giving it a go because it's very simple and it's not going to do any harm to your skin in any way. I feel like it's a very, very safe brand to go with. I hope this was somewhat informative. I has been quite a bit of interest around this brand because it is something, it's not like new right now, but it was new not so long ago and it's still like a little bit hyped and exciting. So that was my honest review on this skincare brand. I hope you guys really enjoyed this type of video and I'll see you all next time. Bye.